This is the first narrated presentation for Module 8, Evolution. Let's get started. This module focuses on the important process of evolution. A brief history of the topic is discussed, including the important observations of Charles Darwin's voyage on the HMS Beagle and his publication of On the Origins of Species. Darwin's theory of evolution is compatible with the understanding of the molecular basis of heredity, and the two theories are combined into the modern synthesis of evolution. The mathematical equation developed by Hardy and Weinberg explains why wild populations are not always found in the percentages predicted by Mendelian genetics, and proves Mendelian genetics is compatible with the modern synthesis. Charles Darwin is one of the co-developers of the theory of evolution. He authored several books, including the most famous, On the Origin of Species. Based on decades of, of observation, some of which took place on a voyage of the HMS Beagle. One important stop of that voyage was in the Galapagos Islands off the west coast of South America. The Galapagos Islands are well suited to cause speciation events, thus making them ideal for comparing recently evolved species. Famously, all finches present on the islands share similarly featured features, but their beaks varied depending on their food source. There are many lines of evidence in support of evolution of species from a common ancestor. Fossils are one form of evidence that show the remains of organisms and how those organisms tend to change in different ways over a period of time. Fossils can be made in different ways including sediment filling empty space in an organism or eggshell, molds of footprints or other markings, or mineral replacement of organism remains. Fossils can be dated by several methods. Stratigraphy is based on the layer of earth that a fossil is found. Older layers are deeper in the earth. Radiometric dating uses radioactive decay of atoms to determine how long it was deposited. Also, DNA sequences of modern species descended from a fossilized species may be compared to determine how long ago their common ancestor was alive. This method assumes a specific rate of mutation, which may be difficult to determine. Species evolution takes place at the population level. Evolution may be a result of a change of allele frequency in a gene pool. A gene pool is all of the alleles in a population, and it is the gene pool that adapts generation to generation. Individuals of a single generation cannot genetically adapt in their lifetime. The modern synthesis uses genetic knowledge of the chromosome theory of inheritance to explain the evolution of species over time as described by Darwin. The modern synthesis is widely accepted as fact among modern scientists and it is applied to the fields of medicine, agriculture, microbiology, and many others. This figure shows a small gene pool of people in an island ecosystem. If these people continue to live isolated with one another, they are considered a population. The Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium explains why populations exhibit traits at frequencies other than those predicted by a Punnett square. The frequencies are described by the Hardy-Weinberg equation and assume certain parameters. The model used for the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium must make certain assumptions to be accurate. Violations of these assumptions are indications of a potential evolutionary event. The model assumes mutations do not occur, therefore no new alleles appear in populations. 
Natural selection does not occur so no alleles give a reproductive advantage. A population is indefinitely large and each member has an equal probability of mating with every other member. The same number of offspring is produced by all individuals and no individuals immigrate or immigrate from the population. Lastly, it is assumed that generations do not breed in overlapping periods. The Hardy-Weinberg equation is based on the allelic frequency of a population, denoted by P plus Q equals 1, where P and Q are numbers between 0 and 1. The Hardy-Weinberg equation is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals 1 predicts the genotypic frequencies of a population that meets the assumptions previously listed. P squared gives the frequency of dominant homozygous organisms. 2PQ the frequency of heterozygous organisms and Q squared, the frequency of homozygous recessive individuals. This slide provides an example of how to apply the Heidi-Weinberg equation. Take time to look at this example, and if needed, open the transcript PDF of the slides to review it more closely. This slide reviews the historical discoveries leading to the modern synthesis of evolution. Also, the Heidi-Weinberg equilibrium is discussed and applied in an example.